With us. Good morning, nice to see you. Good morning, Chris. Uh, I know the Canterbury Employers Chamber of <laughs> Commerce hosted a lunch with the Prime Minister last week. I guess uh, what I want to know, and from the benefit of the audience, some take-homes from that. There's been some issues about ongoing taxes. Uh, there's often that school of thought that Labor's not business-friendly. What was your take-home from what the Prime Minister was yarning about? We certainly did host the Prime Minister last week. In fact, we had close to 700 members um, from the Chamber attend the luncheon, which was great. And that in itself reflected the level of interest that the business community has in uh, what the government are currently working on. So there's there's a huge amount of... Um, Stuff that she covered, obviously, in the um, presentation last week. A lot of it was around, um, I guess, trying to outline the year ahead for the government. And what we are hoping to see from the year ahead is actually some certainty around some of the working group outcomes um, that the government have been working on for the last year. Well, there's been a lot of working groups, hasn't, haven't there? When the Prime Minister left, what, what were the business community telling you? What were your members telling you? Did they feel a sense of relief, anxiety, slightly anxious? What, 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 what are they genuinely telling you? Look, there were some really good uh, things that came out of her address. At the, the first one was her, I guess, restating the, the government's commitment to Christchurch uh, and the rebuild. And so, you know, there is a bit of a sense that uh, Christchurch has disappeared off the radar a little bit f- the further north you go. Mm. So to hear the, the Prime Minister actually restate their commitment to ensuring the momentum continues with um, with our rebuild um, was was really positive. So that was certainly one takeout. Uh, some of the other areas uh, that the Prime Minister talked about were things like um, the vocational education reform and making sure that that reform takes into account you know the future of work, what that looks like, um, ensuring that we have a fit for purpose education system moving forward. Now we've obviously got some concerns around some of those things um, because there's a lot of uh, change at the moment for business. If you look at things like employment legislation change, you look at you know, vocational education reform, which means that you know things like IT the politics, those sorts of things are looking at being centralised. All of those things uh, create a level of uncertainty. And you know, while by and large um, the Chamber and their members are not against looking at uh, reviewing and reforms, uh, to do all of this all at once uh, has created a little bit of uncertainty. So Now that's an interesting word that does seem to tend to pop up time and time again, is that uncertainty. And that's not good for business confidence. Is that the reaction that your members are telling you, that it's steady as she goes, but they want more certainty as to what's happening with all these working groups, all these types of things that are sort of bubbling away? Yeah, absolutely. And and I think also making sure that there is collaboration with the business community on some of those things, Uh, not at the end of those working groups, but actually throughout that process so that um, government, when they're working on some of these changes, understand some of the unintended consequences that can often Uh, not be thought of uh, if some of these um, changes are being done in isolation from the business community. So the Chamber's role in all of that is to advocate on behalf of businesses to actually Mm. share what we're hearing from our business community with some of those working groups. So so for example, I sit on the Government Small Business Council and that group is specifically around how can we... um, make sure that small business are given the right level of support, that government act as enablers for small business rather than put barriers up. Mm, and that's what they need to be doing because small business, we rely on them. It's, it's part of the backbone of this country. Leanne Watson from the Canterbury Employers Chamber of Commerce, always nice to see you. I think that one word that does stick out all the time is uncertainty. So we'll have you back in two weeks' time and see if uh, you're feeling better. Thanks, Chris. Not that you're not. <laughs> uh, it is News Talks about.